There have been violent clashes on the streets of Athens tonight following the murder of a left-wing hip-hop artist. A suspect linked to the neo-Nazi Golden Dawn Party has been arrested. The violence came after thousands took to the streets protesting job cuts and austerity measures. Our international editor, Lindsay Hilson, has this. A memorial for a murder, but this was no common crime. The victim, a well-known Greek pop star. The murderer, police say they've arrested a man associated with the fascist Golden Dawn Party. <laughs> Pavlos Fisas, aka Killer P, was an anti-fascist campaigner as well as a hip-hop artist. Friends say he was stabbed coming out of a cafe in the working-class district of Keratsini in the early hours of this morning. Police raided the offices of Golden Dawn after finding a membership card thrown into the rubbish outside the suspect's house. He allegedly confessed to the murder. The abominable murder in Karatsini by an attacker sympathizing with Golden Dawn, according to his statement, illustrates in the clearest way the intentions of neo-Nazism. But in the Greek parliament, where Golden Dawn has 18 of 300 seats, their spokesman was furious. All of you here are against us. You're all lying. Golden Dawn has nothing at all, and I will shout it out loud. Nothing to do with this unfortunate event that happened in Keratsini. Nothing whatsoever. Golden Dawn, seen here celebrating their first year in parliament, rose as the Greek economy declined. Chanting Greece for the Greeks, they channel the anger of unemployed right-wingers who see no hope. They've been associated with violence against immigrants, but a link to this murder would mark a new strategy. Today, workers were on strike, demonstrating against austerity policies. The left blames the government for the rise of Golden Dawn. I think that government policy over the last four years has forced the snake out of its hole and it has started to bite with fatal consequences. It's the responsibility of the political system to preempt such a situation. We workers will fight this monster, this ultra-right storm that is coming, but we are not enough. Late this afternoon, police in Athens clashed with demonstrators protesting the murder. Fascists and anarchists fought each other elsewhere. The violence just below the surface of Greek society exposed again. Lindsay Hilson reporting.